Hey folks, um, back with another book review. Um, this is Panzer, German World War II designs by Claes Sundin, and uh, the retail price of this is seven ninety nine. Uh, it's colours and markings from nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five, uh, includes the top Panzer tags. I got this from eBay, um, I think it was around about 5 quid, um, and it's really good. Not the chance to review it yet, so I'm going to go through now. Uh, there's a little advert there, that's Tiger 131. Let's see, an introduction, uh, a little bit about the author as well. Uh, as in magazine format, you've got sort of glossy pages. Um, so you get the contents here, and then you've got who worked on the, the piece. Um, Panzer threes, four Stugs, um, Tigers, Stug fours, Panthers, Yag Panthers, all the usual suspects. Um, so you have the, the Panzer three. you get information about the vehicle. Um, the reason I got on it was because of the colour profiles. As you can see, they're really clear. Um, sorry guys, I'm loaded with the flu here. Um, again, more colour profiles and information about it. Um, more pans of three. So you've got all the, the different ones from the, the, the each... Um, I was throwing from the, the L to the J here on the Panzer fours, and then you get the same again. And you get the uh, the F two there, which I've got over there. Dragons one actually. Um, I was throwing G right through. So you got ones with them as a Zim. Not the Zim on the. The shoes in there. Uh, so I'm not going to read through it all, but you do have information on each each version of the vehicle. Obviously the Tigers, uh, which will be of interest to a lot of people. Um, from the initials, there's TK, it's a famous Dash Reich one. And, uh, right through. Mids, weights, alleys, you name it, it's there. Um, dash right again. Again, the car profiles uh, are superb, uh, especially for us model makers. Uh, there's a lot of times where I'll, I'll build a model and I think, how am I going to paint that? Or how would I like to paint that? I'll probably never, near, nowhere near. Uh, anywhere near a, a success with my painting, um, but I try. So, quite extensive there on the Tigers, uh, onto the Panthers, which I keep was the best tank of the war. Um, I was showing D A right here, uh, the waffle pattern there, four oh one. Um, again, quite extensive on the Panthers, on to the Panthers that were disguised as M10s during the bulge. And then we're on to Yak Panzers and the late war stuff, Yak Panthers, King Tigers. 105 again, it's a famous, famous tank. Again, the schemes. They're all really well printed and uh, they're very clear and concise. And then you have a, a handy colour chart at the back as well with the, the actual colours of the, the German, what the German used. Uh, there's a lot of P 
people arguing over the exact colour of Dunkle Gale and all this kind of stuff, but that doesn't interest me. I can't tell because I wasn't there. As a lot of other people weren't there, but they have their opinions on it and think that they're correct. But, well, good luck to them. Um, profile books by Klaus Sundin. Uh, he's also got with a uh, fighter aircraft, allied fighter aircraft, um, another Luftwaffe one, and another, and another. Quite a lot of Luftwaffe bombers, Tiger and Panther tanks, um, Profiles of German tanks. So, visit the Centura Books web shop or email direct. And on the back we've got an advertisement for MIGS. Uh, the Ammo King Tiger. So that is Panzer German World War II designs. Um, Panzer Colors is another is a good book series. Um, it's a wee bit outdated now. Um, and they can be quite expensive. So if you're looking for something that you for you know German camouflage profiles and stuff and you can't you know it's not within your price range to, to buy the books this would certainly be um, a good alternative as I said the, the retail RP is seven ninety nine so on eBay you're talking five six pound um, and that's free delivery as well um, as you can see, it's quite a quite a thick book um, with 130 pages on it as well. So um, certainly one for for those who um, I haven't read it, so I can't tell you anything about the information that's in it or um, the historical stuff. I can't tell you because I haven't read it. However, if you're looking for colour markings and stuff like that, then and you don't want to go dear, then this is the book for you. So that's Panzer, German World War II Designs by Clay Sundin. And uh, thanks for listening, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.